we have lot of methods of finding the largest fraction like one method is to convert them into decimals and then you can find out second one is to take the lcm of the denominators and then uh, convert everything in the form of that lcm then you can find out but that method uh, and even the decimal method that will consume a lot of time so let us have a short trick for finding the largest fraction see i'll compare the first two i'll just tick right whichever is largest and then i will proceed with the method you will take only 3 to 4 seconds to find the largest fraction without converting them into decimal or taking the lcm now see the numerator of this fraction is 1 so this multiplied by the denominator here 8 will give you the product 8 and this numerator multiplied by this 6 will give you 18 so this numerator is giving a larger product on cross multiplying so 3 into 6 is 18 1 into 8 is 8 so the numerator which gives a larger product that fraction is the larger fraction so out of 3 by 8 and 1 by 6 i can say orally that 3 by 8 is larger because 3 is giving a larger product on cross multiplication so now this is omitted now let's see i'll write the procedure here for you see 1 into 8 and 3 into 6 so i am retaining 3 into 6 so 1 the fraction which has numerator 1 which is this is discarded because this is small now 3 by 8 and 2 by 7 see 3 into 7 and 2 into 8 so 3 into 7 is 21 2 into 8 is 16 so 3 into 7 is giving a larger product 2 into 8 is giving a smaller product so 2 into 7 is discarded again so we are retaining again the numerator which is 3 now compare this and this see 3 into 11 33 and 5 into 8 40 now see 3 into 11 33 is smaller and 5 into 8 40 is larger so i have to retain this numerator is 5 so again discard 3 by 8 so here you have the largest fraction 5 upon 11 i hope the method is clear if it is not clear then we can take one more question now see 2 into 5 is 10 and 3 into 3 is 9 so this numerator is giving a smaller product and this numerator is giving a larger product so this is greater so this is smaller so we discard this uh, 3 into 3 and uh, 3 by 5 is discarded and 2 by 3 is retained so let's have comparison of 2 by 3 and 7 by 9 now now see 2 into 9 this is the uh, cross product of this and this is 7 into 3 which is larger 7 into 3 is larger but 2 into 9 is smaller so we have to retain the one which has a numerator 7 so let's discard this also now now finally 7 into 7 49 and 9 5 into 9 45 so 49 is greater and 45 is smaller so this numerator is giving a smaller product so discard this so here we have the largest fraction 7 upon 9 i hope the method is clear now and let's practice one more question of this kind see compare these two 3 into 7 is 21 and 4 into 5 is 20 so 21 is greater than 20 so 4 this is discarded because this is giving a smaller product so let's discard this now compare 3 by 5 and 8 by 9 3 into 9 and 8 into 5 now see this is 27 and this is 40 so this is giving a larger product so this is to be discarded because 3 into 9 is smaller and finally 8 into 11 is 88 and 9 into 9 is 81 so 81 is smaller and 88 is larger so this numerator is giving larger product so discard this and we have 8 by 9 as the final answer so you see finding the largest fraction can be as easy as this now for finding the smallest fraction we will follow the same procedure which we have done in the previous video now let me demonstrate it in an elaborative way using the first example now see 1 by 6 and 3 by 8 take first two fractions and cross multiply the numerator of the first with the denominator of the second and numerator of the second with denominator of the first 
Now we need to find the smallest fraction. So which of the two is smallest? 1 into 8 is 8, 3 into 6 is 18. So this is small. So we have multiplied 3 by 6. That means 3 by 8. The numerator here is 3. The numerator here is 1. So this is the smaller product and the numerator here is 1. So this is small and this is large. So we need the smallest. So discard the largest. Now compare 1 by 6 with 2 by 7. So 1 into 7 and 2 into 6. Now see this product is small and this is large. So numerator here is 1. So 1 by 6 is small and 2 by 7 is large. So discard the larger. Now consider first and last. So 1 into 11 is 11 and 5 into 6 is 30. So which is the smallest? Smallest is this one and the numerator is 1. So this is the smallest. Discard this. You get the final answer as 1 by 6 is the smallest fraction. I hope you have understood this. If not, let us take one more example. 2 into 5 is 10 and 3 into 3 is 9. So which is small? Small is this one and the numerator is 3. So this is small and this is large. So just neglect this. Now consider this and this. 3 into 9 and 7 into 5. Now see this is 27 and this is 35. So 27 is small. So we need the small one. What is the numerator? 3. So this is small and this is large. So discard the large one. Now 3 by 5 and 5 by 7. 3 into 7 and 5 into 5. Now see this is 21 and this is 25. This is small and the numerator is 3. So this is small and this is large. So discard the large. You get the smallest fraction as 3 upon 5. Let's have the final example then you can practice yourself taking any 4 or 5 or even 6 fractions and finding the smallest one. 3 into 7 is 21 and 4 into 5 is 20. So which is small of uh, these two? This is small and numerator is 4 so this is smaller and this is larger. So discard 3 by 5. Now let's have the Comparison between second and third, 4 into 9 and 8 into 7. So 8, 7 is the 56 and 9, 4 is the 36. So this is small. So 4 is the numerator. So this is smaller and this is larger. Discard the larger. Finally, 4 into 11 and 9 into 7. Now you see, see this is 63, this is 44. So 44 is smaller and 4 is the numerator. So this is small and this is large. Neglect this. You get the answer as 4 upon 7. So friend, this is I think by far the quickest method to find the smallest fraction. Practice this and I am sure you are going to save a lot of time in competitive exams. For more videos, do not forget to subscribe the channel.